In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a plane given three points. Now, in order to write the equation of a plane, or to define any plane for that matter, we need a point on a plane, and we need a vector that is perpendicular to the plane. And that vector is known as the normal vector. Now, we have three points. We could use any one of those three points to define the plane. The only thing that we're missing is the normal vector. Now let's say that this is point P, even though it may not be the exact location of P, but for the sake of simplicity, let's say that's P, this is Q, and we're going to say this is R. Vector PQ, we're going to call it vector A. Vector PR is going to be vector B. If we take the cross product of these two vectors, it will give us a normal vector that is perpendicular to both vectors A and B. And so that's how we could find the normal vector given three points. So let's start with a vector A, which is vector PQ. So we're going to take point Q and subtract it by point P. So it's going to be Q minus P, so that's 4 minus 2. And then the Y values, it's going to be negative 2 minus 1. And for the Z values, 7 minus 4. So 4 minus 2 is 2, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. So that's vector A. Now, let's quantify vector B. So we define that as vector PR. So it's going to be R minus P. So we have 5 minus 2, 3 minus 1, and negative 2 minus 4. So this is going to give us 3, comma 2, comma negative 6. So now that we have both vectors a and b, what we need to do is take the cross product of these two vectors to get the normal vector. So the normal vector n is going to be the cross product of a and b. And so we're going to set it up like this. We're going to have a 3 by 3 matrix. The first row is going to contain the unit vectors i, j, and k. The second row is going to contain, I mean, let me say that again, it's going to contain, rather, the information for vector a which is 2, negative 3, 3. And the last row will contain the information for vector B, which is 3, 2, negative 6. So now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on I, which is in the first row, first column. And that leaves behind a 2 by 2 matrix with that information. So this is going to be negative 3, 2, 3, negative 6 times I. And then minus, so the next one is j. j is in the first row, second column, leaving behind 2, 3, 3, negative 6. And that's going to be in our next 2 by 2 matrix. So it's 2, 3, 3, negative 6 times j. And for the last one, k, it's in the first row, third column. So we have the 2 by 2 matrix, 2, 3, negative 3, 2. So now we need to evaluate the determinant of each of these 2 by 2 matrices. So first, let's get rid of this information. Now to find the determinant, we're going to multiply the first diagonal and then subtract it by the product of the second diagonal. So this is going to be negative 3 times negative 6, which is 18, minus 2 times 3, which is 6, times i. Next, this is going to be 2 times negative 6, which is negative 12, and then minus 3 times 3, which is 9. So we're going to have minus 9 times j. And then this is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4, and then minus 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9, times k. 18 minus 6 is 12. Negative 12 minus 9 is negative 21 times the negative out in front. That's going to be positive 21 and then times j. And here we have 4 plus 9, which is 13. So that's the normal vector. We can write it this way. It's 12 comma 21 comma 13. So this is going to be a, b, and c, which is different from the vectors a and b. Now, 
As was mentioned before, we need two things to define a plane. The normal vector, which we now have, and the point. So the point that we're going to use is the point 2, 1, 4, point P. So this is going to be x sub 0, y sub 0, z sub 0. The formula that we're going to use to write the equation of the plane is this equation. It's a times x minus x0 plus b times y minus y sub 0 plus c times z minus z sub 0, which equals 0. So now all we need to do is plug in everything. a is 12, x sub 0 is 2, b is 21, y sub 0 is 1, and c is 13, z sub 0 is 4. Let's distribute. So we're going to have 12x minus 24 and then plus 21y minus 21 plus 13z minus 52 which equals 0. So let's combine like terms. Negative 24 plus negative 21 that is negative 45. Negative 45 plus negative 52 that's negative 97 on the left side but on the right side of the equation it's going to be positive 97. So the final answer is 12x plus 21y plus 13z which equals positive 97. So this is the equation of the plane that contains those three points. So that's it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.